Hello, this is Nindy Kerr from Nindy's Creative Corner and welcome to another video. Today we are stepping up our simple stamping by doing this layering technique. It is pretty quick and simple. We just use um, stamps, ink, and paper again. But I was getting bored of flat, basically flat cards. So we are doing this technique today. I am changing up the colors a little bit. And let's go ahead and get started. You'll need a piece of cardstock cut at two by three and three quarters, I believe. Yes, two inches. Oh. It's supposed to be three and three quarters. Okay, I cut it at three to three and three quarters. This colored cardstock is at two and a quarter by four. And then this one is the standard four inches by five and a quarter inches. And here's our card base. And this color is Mossy Meadow. You'll need a piece of scratch paper or grid paper because you will be stamping off the edge and don't want to mess up your table. Okay, now this is the trickiest part. Maybe a half inch to an inch long of snail. Touch it quite a few times all along the portion so you remove some of the sticky. And now we will be centering it in on the larger Whisper White. Hopefully that's good. We will first stamp our words. We will first stamp our words which is Have a Beautiful Birthday from the Painted Glass Stamp Set. And we'll stamp it in the center of our smaller piece. The problem with working on white on white. We could have stamped this before we attached the pieces together. Hopefully that's good. All right, and we are using wood mount stamps. The stamp set is still available, but only in clean mount rubber. Make sure it's inked up fully since it's a solid stamp. And you want it to overlap both layers of the cardstock. So we want it on the corner and up into the center. Then press down your whole palm because you want especially around where the two layers meet. Because you really don't want much more than that big of a white space. The white space will be natural though. And I like rotating it. And I generally count five when I'm stamping. I don't know why, but I, since I start doing that, I get much better stamped images. Okay, now we will use the mossy meadow and the leaves. I know this should be ink, be able to ink well, because I just re-inked it. There we go. And we will put our stem in there. And yes, we do want these to cover the layers too. And I just always rotate my cardstock. And 
let's see, I think we'll do this up here. Name away from the words. The reason I don't put my full palm on this one is because I tend to move the whole stamp. So I quit doing that. I do press on both leaves though. Okay, now we can do a few what I would call random leaves. Oops. Oops, guess I didn't get those quite all the way there. And we will put some in here. And I try not to overlap them. Okay, let's put our card together by first taking off this layer here gently and try to keep this in the same position as you took it off from. I've had issues with that before. And flip it over so it remains in the same position. Center it. And then again, turn it over. We are just using snail for this whole card. And no, I don't remember why they call it snail. Now, what you want to do is match up your flowers. If you match up your flowers, your leaves will automatically be matched up. Keep your fingers under there so it doesn't get stuck. Okay, and make sure your leaves are lined up. I think that's good. We'll just attach it to our card base. Check where the fold is. In the last couple of days, I put two on upside down by forgetting that step. Okay, there we go. Here's our beautiful birthday card. So, have fun trying this technique. You don't have to do it right in the center. You can do it however you want, in whichever position you want and use a variety of stamps. Thank you so much for watching. You can go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. See you next week. Bye.